our knowledge, our eating, or the rhythm of our breathing. So question is, do we really, do we really know their value? Okay, let me rephrase that. Have we placed our treasures in the right places? Because here we are in the generation of many faces where swag represents the majority of statuses and love is where the sex is. Where we worry about our physical ailments when what we really need is spiritual repairment. And no, I do not mean the kind where you sit with a shrink, put you in a trance, trying to know what you think. I'm talking about serious fixing. A total U-turn in our thinking. Hitting issues beginning with the heart, then moving to the soul, which is also a good place to start. Matthew 6, 20. Real treasures should lie where the treasure is a plenty. Just like how you will store your hundred grand in a bank and not with some random stranger named Frank. You see, being the people that we are, we value a lot of things. We like or rather we want the pleasures of life and it's just a nothing. We choose temporary forevers and the short-lived ecstasy it brings. We focus on the present while losing value on the eternal. We value the wrong things because the right things don't please the external. We gotta place what we value where they matter most. Because let's get real, 10 years from now, the bills will not be paid by the swag you lost or the memory of how much your beast by gray headphones cost. Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta let go of this screwed up mentality where the Kardashians define reality and the internet owns our love. Where we worship fake copies of God, little miniature idols which are obviously flawed. Don't you kind of pick God? robbers to have. A wise man once said, a man's heart is where his treasure is. So I guess the true question is, where is your heart at? The way I see it, if your heart is with him who values you, then your heart is what he treasures too.
Your treasures I'll keep, but only if you ask me to.